a mother's deep affection for her newborn child is completely understandable. The nine months they've spent journeying together and a surge of maternal hormones create an instant fierce attraction to that red and wrinkled infant gazing solemnly into her eyes. A young couple's giddy delight in each other at the wedding altar is completely understandable. Months of shared memories and reverent promises have propelled them to this moment, along with a surge of powerful biochemicals. Nothing could be more natural. A young soldier's deep loyalty to the men who have battled alongside him, guarded his back, and rescued him in deepest danger is completely understandable. We were designed to show love back to those who first loved us. But what explains God's deep and fervent affection for millions of human beings who have never warmed to his attention, trusted in his promises, or appreciated his vigilant protection? There's nothing natural or understandable about it. God chooses of his own marvelous free will to love those who ignore him, seek those who consistently disobey his rules, and embrace those who crucified his son. In this is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. This is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only Son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Receiving the gift of God's persistent grace doesn't mean that we can ever fully explain it or understand it. But go ahead. Embrace the mystery and stay in grace.